This year's NHL Draft may not host the same can't miss stars as recent drafts, but that does not take away from the consistent talent pool available. Since the draft is coming in the next few days, let's take a look at the top 10 prospects that will be available. And if this is your first time visiting my channel and you enjoyed this video, I recommend that you subscribe for more content. Number 10, Cody Glass. Glass has great potential to become a top 6 NHL center. He is an NHL frame at 6'2", but will need to pack on some more muscle as he currently sits at 179 pounds. He's a really smart player and skilled, and often compared to Mark Shifley, but it is clear that Glass still has more to develop in his game. This past year he scored 32 goals and 94 points in 69 games for the Portland Winterhawks. Look for these numbers to skyrocket next season, as well as a more dependable defensive game and work ethic. Number 9, Elias Pedersen. Pedersen is many years away from the NHL. Listed at 6'2", he has the potential for NHL size, but weighs in at only 160 pounds. He is a silky center with tremendous vision on the ice, but he tends to stray away from physical battles, something that will not translate well in the NHL. He was nearly a point per game in Sweden's second division this season, but next year his development will be on full display with top tier Vaxjo. Number 8, Michael Rasmussen. Rasmussen is the big boy of this year's top 10. At 6 foot 5 and 200 pounds, it is easy to guess his playing style. He is a player that is solid in front of the net, always on top of rebounds and finishes his checks. But he does not possess a goal scorer's game breaking ability and needs to work on his skating. Despite this, he scored 32 goals and 55 points in 50 games this year with Tri City. When you think of him, think of a JVR or Nick Ritchie. Number 7, Owen Tippett. Tippett is by far this year's best goal scorer. He's the best shot in the draft class and seems to be a natural goal scorer, as shown in his 44 goals this season for Mississauga. He has a man size at 6 foot 2 and 200 pounds, which will translate perfectly into the NHL game. However, there are numerous red flags when it comes to his game. The general consensus is that the farther away he is from the offensive net, the worse he gets. He's not reliable defensively and seems to have an inconsistent work ethic. This leads to a concern that he could be the next Neil Yakupov instead of Patrick Kane. Number 6, Miro Heiskanen. The first defender in this year's top 10. Heiskanen is a smooth skating two-way defenseman out of Finland. He's a great skater that can adapt to the speed and flow of any game. He played this past season against men in Finland's top league where he put up solid minutes as well as 10 points in 37 games as a 17 year old. His initial comparable is Ryan McDonough and could quite easily be the first defender off the board this year. He is expected to stay in Finland to develop one more year but could be persuaded to come to the AHL. Number 5, Kale Makar. Widely regarded as the best defenseman in this year's draft, Makar sits at only 5'10 and 175 pounds. He's a great skater and a dynamic passer with a great work ethic as well as a bit of a mean streak. He destroyed the Alberta Junior Hockey League this year, scoring 24 goals and 75 points in 54 games for the Brooks Bandits. He will spend the next couple of years at UMass Amherst, which will tremendously benefit his game for the long haul. The best chance to see him on a big stage will be with Canada for next year's World Juniors Tournament. Without a doubt, Makar will be the highest drafted AJHL player of all time. Number 4, Casey Middlestat. Middlestat controversially returned to his high school, Eden Prairie, to pursue a Minnesota state title this past season. Unfortunately, his team was eliminated in the semifinals, but that did not stop him from dominating his high school league. With a shadow on his back every shift, Middlestat still put up 21 goals and 64 points in 25 games. After the season ended, he played for the Green Bay Gamblers of the USHL, scoring 13 goals and 30 points in 24 games which led the league in points per game at 1.25. He's a crafty player who holds the perfect mix of goal scoring and playmaking. He will spend the next couple of years at the University of Minnesota. Number 3, Gabe Vilardi. Like many players in this draft, Vilardi has tremendous stick skills, but must improve on his skating. He is a solid two-way center with great vision that can play a full 200-foot game. He scored 61 points in 49 games this year with Windsor and helped lead them to a Memorial Cup championship. Although his skating is not exceptional, he's lost the time to work on it and the belief is that it will greatly improve this offseason. 
Number two, Nico this year. Number one and number two this year have changed intermittently throughout the year. Scouts seem split, and truly nobody really knows who will go first overall. This year is a quick, crafty player who always seems to find holes in the defense. His stick handling is exceptional, and when combined with his great hockey IQ, can be nearly impossible to stop. He rose from basically nowhere this season, dominating for 86 points in 57 games with Halifax in his first year over from Switzerland. His skills were showcased even further in the World Juniors, when he was the heart and soul of Team Switzerland, scoring 7 points in 5 games. His NHL comparable is Joe Pavelski, although the general consensus is that he will need another year to develop in juniors. Number 1. Nolan Patrick Nolan Patrick is not Connor McDavid or Austin Matthews. However, he is still a very good prospect. He will not score 40 goals in the NHL next season, but that does not diminish his value. He is the most well-rounded player in the draft, great in the defensive zone, great in the offensive zone, a great skater, and has a lethal shot. At 6'3", he has great size for a center, and will continue to work on his two-way game. And I'd also like to give an honorable mention to Kaylor Yamamoto, who I believe could be this year's dark horse in the draft. What other top prospects are you excited about? Let us know in the comments down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content.